went to USC, um, but I picked that um, just because they gave me a full ride, So, and it was based on academics, so I didn't think I was going to get to play there, just because their water pool team is like insanely good. Um, but in the end, my mom convinced me to just talk to the coach. So it feels like I've always been interested in the fitness industry, mm -hmm. but so we have to go, we have to go way back. Um, I think where I got really interested in health and wellness is when I was younger, seventh grade. Yes, uh, most definitely. Uh, the first thing is it really helped me put things into perspective that, well, chiropractic is not the most important thing in my life. I have other responsibilities, and, and that really uh, kind of shifted it more towards you know, making me focus more on family. Hey, welcome to the show. We are here today with Troy Talmadge. He talks to us about where he's off to with his backpack if he had a chance to pack up everything on his back and where he would head off to, next stops in his career, and why, his why. Here you go. Enjoy the show. All righty. I am here today with Troy Talmud. Hey, Troy. Hi. How are you doing? Fantastic. How good. are you? Doing good. Good, doing good. good. So my intention behind these podcasts is really to get – to know the person behind like those who we see right you know like you see somebody or like maybe you judge a book by its cover or stuff like that but what I want to really know is who is the Troy like I, I know you hanging out like I've done the you know going to baseball games and stuff like that but who I really want to know is like you so um, if there's one thing that you would want people to know about you what would it be uh, one thing I want people to know about me is that I'm not the same person I was five years ago. I'm not the same person that I am was a year ago. Uh, I feel I'm 25 now, and I feel like you grow up so much. But I think family, friends, uh, especially close friends and all that, still look at me as the Troy I was five years ago or even a year ago. And I want people to really look at me now as – the businessman that I am and the person that take me a little bit more serious and know, get to know the new and improved Troy and to not keep on bringing up what happened in the past and the crazy side of me and all of that. Yeah. Like you're growing up. We're all, all maturing and yes. doing our thing. Yes. And and it, it's hard to believe because, you know, uh, usually you don't, you talk to a 25 year old and they don't know anything what they, they want in life. They're still in that, that stage of their life where they're, what do I do? I want to do this? Do I want to do that? Do I want to live here? What job do I want? But I'm a unique breed. Like I know what I want. I know what I'm passionate about, and I've learned so much from past experiences, and that's got me to be who I am here now. And I think that I just truly want people to look at me and see that and. I'm trying to surround my people, the people that are around me, I'm trying to surround myself with people who actually are going to be there for me and help me grow even better as a person. Yeah, yeah. We are the the uh, accumulation of the closest five people around us, right? You know, Correct. that's kind of how it works. Correct. So, so that you, um, you're saying earlier that you uh, just got a new job, What you know, a couple months into a new job. What is that? Yes, um, I'm currently w I'm working for CBS Radio. Uh, with Energy 1037 and Kixie 965, uh, downtown San Diego. And it's awesome. I was working promotions for two years, and an opportunity came up in the sales department, and now I'm working as a sales assistant and working my way up. I, I have a passion for the industry, and I know that that's where I want to be in the future. And I just think that you have to start at the bottom and work your way up. And I have a great team that I work with, and... It's a great brand, and I'm just very blessed that I got this opportunity. Uh, it's been two months now, and I'm happier than I ever could be, and I get to stay in San Diego and really experience it because I've been here for three years, and I've always tried to you know, get the job that I wanted, and I was thinking about I need to apply instead of enjoy San Diego, and now that I got this new position, it's awesome. 
that I can enjoy San Diego while starting my career. Yeah, so you plan on staying in San Diego for a while? Is this where your career would, would keep you, or are you it's go not, somewhere else? I, I'm up for any opportunity. I, I love to travel. I love mm. to, you know, try new areas out. My passion, and, like, I feel like I'm meant to be in L.A., I want to do more of the TV production side of things. I want to be in front of the camera as well. Uh, so I feel like L.A. is going to probably be where I move within the next few years. Um, but then, I mean, I would be open to even going to a different country if an opportunity arises for me to do something like that. Like yeah. I said, I love traveling. I'm I'm young enough where I can go travel and can explore so many other countries because they have so much to offer. I mean, I don't want to be just stuck in the United States if if there's something that's greater. Because CBS is a huge company, yeah. so I'd yeah. definitely be up to moving. Now, um, what is something that you did that you would do again, and what's something that you did that you would never do again? Uh, something that I would do again would be skydiving. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the best memories of my life. Uh, it, was, I was 20, it was my 23rd birthday, I went, uh, my roommate and I at the time, we went skydiving and then drove straight to Vegas. And just the adrenaline that you have, and I love being adventurous and I love doing crazy things like that. You're just on top of, you, you look out there and you really see how the earth is in a circle and then you're seeing the ground and you just jump out of the sky. Yeah. Like you, you jumped out of a perfectly good airplane. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You're in this airplane one yeah. moment and usually you're flying in an airplane when you're going, you know, to any other state or whatever, but this time you're actually jumping out of it and it yeah. the it feels so great when you're just you let everything go and it's just you're in that moment. It was one of the best moments of my life. Yeah. And so that's something that I would do again, again and again. Um I think and I do it on my birthday too. I think it's a great way to start the new year. You're new year off mm -hmm. um i always feel like your birthday is your new year instead of new year's but um i just feel like skydiving is great uh something that i wouldn't do again uh would probably be wasting away my summers in high school and college partying mm -hmm. um i there was a time in my life where i like partied all the time and i mean i had you know the fake id i was going in the clubs and Vegas, Ohio, Colorado, everywhere, you know, I would, I loved to party and I worked at a bar at 18. So I got into that party scene and I kind of regret doing that because that's not who I was. And I feel like I could have accomplished more if I was to, you know, study abroad or, uh, take, you know, different curriculum activities over the summer rather than just putting a bottle and drinking it. Yeah. 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 So what is, um, if you could impact one community, what would it be? Which community would it be? Um, I would probably impact the, like the less, I would probably say the, like the less fortunate. Um, I mean, going to, going to Mexico and everything, uh, I always volunteered and helped out at like families at the dump who live in the dumps basically yeah. and I would bring them food I would be there but I would want to help out that type of community the less fortunate community because I feel like you they they're less fortunate and I always want to they can you can build something you know you can help them build a community because they're they're needing something you know you can go to all these other communities and they already have a structure and they're already stabled in a way and these certain people who like I mean even like the homeless yeah. or people who really are living in the dumps or on the streets I mean I would want to build a community for them and just make sure that everybody has at least shelter yeah taken care of taken yeah, care of yeah, yeah. basic needs taken exactly. care of exactly yeah. and I mean everybody's human I, I mean there was one night I was walking home wait a uh, minute everybody's human everyone is human what? I know Oh, wait a second, crazy. wait a second, newsflash, we had just found something out new. Right, we just found out everybody's <laughs> human. Um, but, you know, I was I was walking home from a uh, nightclub one night, and there was this homeless lady, and she was just sitting there, and I was, I mean, I was tired, and I just sat down, and we had an hour conversation, and then she hugged me, and she was like, 
like god bless you you're an amazing person and this was like i mean it, it made me open up my eyes and i was like we're we're all the same boat you know yeah. like we it's just sometimes we're fortunate with things and blessed with some things and other times some people aren't and so i just feel like if i had the power and we're able to help a community it'd be the ones with the less fortunate the ones that don't have shelter don't have homes and an education and everything like that um, where'd you grow up I uh, grew up from Denver, Colorado. Oh, Denver. Yeah. yeah. Um, you miss it? You know, uh, I I miss the aspect of being with my family all the time and being able to just tell my mom and dad, hey, I'm coming over for dinner or seeing my sister. Mm. I definitely miss that aspect, but I don't miss Denver at all. I, I wasn't the person I was it, that I knew I was in Denver. Um... It will always be my home, and it'll always be something special to me. But I will never. I don't think I'd ever move back there. Um, it's where I I spread my roots, but I, I wasn't fit for Denver. Yeah. So, but I love my family, and so that's what I miss about it. So if I could just you know pick them up and move, have them move to California, I'd be set. Yeah. But, um, if you were there last weekend because they played their uh, championship game, not the Super Bowl, but yes. their, where would you be watching the game? I, w- I mean, if I was there watching the game, I would have probably got tickets because my sister and dad are huge Bronco mm-hmm. fans. Um, I would have probably got tickets or we usually go to this place, the Tavern, where one of our good friends, John, he, lo- he works there. So we usually go there on Sundays. Or just going to my parents' house. Uh, I'm a very, very family oriented, and I mm. love seeing my parents. And I mean, it's it's a Sunday, Sunday fun day, you know, chilling with parents, <laughs> yeah. the parents' house. Yeah, and, totally. I mean, at the end of the day, that's right now who I am now today. I probably would be hanging out with my parents, just hanging out house. with the folks. Yeah, yeah, rooting yeah. them on, wearing the colors, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> screaming my at the dad TV. Go crazy, like, <laughs> dude, you're gonna have a freaking heart attack if you keep on yelling some more. Like, yeah. calm down. It is. Yeah. It's just a football game, bro. But, he, he's you know. no longer armchair. He is right. in, he's in like the face. Into it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, right yeah, on. Definitely. If you could, uh, if you had your whole life on your back, where would be the first place you'd go? Switzerland. Why so? I have. I, and how would you get there? You got your entire <laughs> life on your back. But what? <laughs> Where would I go? I think of like, you know, <laughs> Santa Monica or something like that. <laughs> I mean, I would, if I had my whole life, um, my whole life doesn't, I mean, to me, it's, I love the night, the finer things in life. I really do. I think you work hard, you should be able to, you know, buy certain things and what you want. And I like that. I like nice things. But at the end of the day, if I had my whole life on my back, it would be a backpack, you know, with you know, a shirt, shorts and whatever. And then, you know, that, that's your life. You know, your, your, your whole life and memories, everything is in your, your head basically is in your mind. Yeah. And so life is basically your family and your memories and everything else is materialistic. So I feel like if I had to do that, I would go to Switzerland. It's a boat ride, a plane ride, a car ride. Like I would, you know, you you know, you'd make it. Yeah. Right on. I think uh, Switzerland, hands down. I, I love it. I've never been there. I, I hear great things. and I've I, never been there I'm either, not, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I've heard great things. I worked at a school before, uh, and there was a lot of great people who I've met who live in Switzerland that I became really close friends with, and we still communicate, and it, it's great. Yeah. I definitely would. Where would be the last there? place you'd ever go? You got your whole life on your back. Where would it be like the, like, I'm not going to end up in this place? Um, it would be the last place I would probably say uh, that's a, that's a hard one. Um, the last, I mean, I, it would probably be like in the middle of nowhere. I mean, anywhere, any state, it wouldn't matter. Like I would, the last place I would choose is somewhere where there's not people. Yeah. I, I'm a people person. I love being around people. I, I love having like friends and having people over and being, I love to have somebody with me all the time, most of the time, because it's just fun. That's how, you know, you, you meet people, you make memories and everything like that. So middle of nowhere, like, yeah, 
no life. Like, well, if you had Wilson, you'd have somebody to talk to, right? <laughs> that, like, I would go crazy. If I was on an island, I would go crazy yeah. with that. <laughs> All right, so um, entertainment business. If you can interview the one person, who would it be and what would you ask them? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I would say the one per. Let's see. I would say Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like he's been in such an amazing um, actor, and I feel like his movies are the type of movies I would be in if I was to become an actor because I have a passion for acting. And I would just ask him, like, one, how, where did you start, and how did you become such an amazing actor? And two, how did you become this actor that is in such great films and not in the public eye? Like you, mm. you were able to like have your life not on blast, you know. And I think that's hard for a lot of people in the limelight is to keeping their life, their personal life, when they have movies that are so huge, a mm. huge success. Yeah, keeping so private, probably, keeping your private life. Yeah, yeah. I, exactly. I, I can't imagine. Sometimes I wish, oh, yeah, I wish everybody knew me. Then I wish, I'm like, oh, man, I don't want everybody to know me. You know, like, you sometimes can't. I do that. And I, yeah. it's, it's so crazy how the social media, you're just like, I wish somebody would, you know, I want to have this many followers or this many yeah. people like it. And it's just so crazy. But it's like, if you had that many people like your things or like, these are people that you don't even know <laughs> yeah. commenting on your thing. Yeah. Like, I don't need... 40 million followers like I don't even know 20 like I don't need to have that to make my life be satisfied yeah fulfilled yeah fulfilled yeah. It, it's yeah. great word to use yeah definitely alright so there's a, a dish of your favorite food I don't know what it is but if somebody reached for it and tried to take it they'd be pulling back a bloody stump what would it be uh, it would be red velvet, like red, red velvet, velvet. Like, oh, dessert. Man. It's not even food. Like you touch my dessert, I will. Don't don't even think about touching my dessert. Whether it's red velvet cookies or cake or cupcakes, I mean, I've had a sweet suit. Like I would rather have sweets than actual food or alcohol. Like I'm obsessed with anything that has to do with desserts. So you're not sharing it. I will share because I feel bad, <laughs> but then at the end of the day, I don't like sharing. Like, I mean, and this goes all the way back to when I was like in middle school. My sister was driving, and I would have her go at midnight to go get me cupcakes, and I'd eat all six cupcakes. Like, I am obsessed with sweets, and don't touch them. Like, don't touch my sweets. I want them. They're mine. Yeah, I don't like to share sweets. No, you can like, get your own. Yeah. I'll let you have a bite, but don't I want to or you said you didn't want any dessert at dinner and then you try to take mine unacceptable unacceptable you can't do that so awful I, yeah, yeah horrible Troy what's your why like why do you do what you do what's your why my why um so my why is a lot of people ask why do you get up at 5 a.m. every day and why are you to go to the gym and why are you so organized and have, you know, these, like, daily tasks that you need to get done? Uh, you know, why is because that's who I am, and I, I like that, and that's my life. Um, but my why is I like to work out, and I like to eat healthy is because I want to be healthy. So that's why I work out. And I why I'm organized is because I feel like I can accomplish more and that's how I've accomplished so much at, by 25 is because I've been organized and have my goals and plans and all that so that's my why um, there's also like why am I you know why do I wear like my heart on my shoulder or why do I you know communicate with people is because I you know I'm just overall my why is like you need to be an open book, one, and you need to just, you need to be that person that who you are and what you love about yourself, and then why, there is no why. Like, I don't need, there's, I don't need to answer a why to anybody because I'm who I am, mm -hmm. and there is no why to that. Why am I doing that? The, the answer to anything, to a why, if somebody was to ask you why, because it's me. That, that's my why. It's me. 
So yeah. I don't. There's no explanation. There's why do you wake up? Why do you eat this? Why do you do this? Why do you like that? It's me, plain and simple. All right. Yeah. Guilty musical p- pleasure. <laughs> country. Oh. Weird. <laughs> I know. Different like a, like in country. Like a hazy country or like old, you know, some yeah. Alabama or I like, what no, is I it? like some like any type of country. Like any type of country. Any era, any I love country. I get the most I mean, work done when I listen to country. Country. Yeah. <laughs> It gets you upbeat. It's yeah. good. You know, you sing along with it. I love it. I can work out to it. I can, you know, chill to it. I can, you know, do a little, you know, no with it. You know, <laughs> you, you can do a lot of things in the country. It's good. You know, I mean, I love country. You mean lock the doors and turn off the lights? Yes! Lock the <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're both yes, awful. We're all, right. Right. all right, all right, all right. All right. Awesome. Well, Troy, I just want to thank you so much. You, know, you I can, you, know, you just were like super authentic. You know, you were you, and I really want to thank you for taking your time out and and talking with me. Yes, definitely. No, thank you for having me. This was awesome. I, I mean, it's great. Thing, it's great meeting you, and I appreciate your time. And it's awesome meeting you. So, all right, thank cool. you so much. Thanks, Troy. News flash, news flash. Everybody's human. Wait a second, what? What did you just say? Everybody's human. All right, and there you have it. Thank you so much for listening. Follow me, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, all the same name, Robert Bud 16 Website, bambamculture.com. Have a amazing day. Smile a lot, say hello to your neighbor, and live an extraordinary life just because you said so.